everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. And this week I am playing with the new Adorning Hearts Bundle. This is a really fun uh, bundle that includes the stamp set, the dies, and the embossing folder. Now, there's something else new that goes along with this bundle, and it's the brayer. Um, I have not really used a brayer that much. And let me tell you, since I have started playing with this set and this brayer, I am full on addicted. I have been making hearts for days. I have them in every color. I can't stop. It's so much fun. So I can't wait to show you um, how to use it. And uh, I have several projects actually. So if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you go back to my blog. I think I have five in total. Um, the first thing that I thought of when I was thinking about these hearts was, well, of course, Valentine's Day but a box of chocolates with the chocolates in the shape of a heart. So that's what I came up with. Pecan pie might not be your first color you think of <laughs> when you are making your little embossed hearts, but um, I think they turned out really cute and I think they, they look like chocolates. All right, well, let's make our hearts first. You're gonna need your brayer and um, we're, gonna, we're gonna put ink on both sides of the folder. Um, one side is going to push the paper down, and the other side, it's going to push the paper up. So you'll have a raised side, and you'll have, let's see, do I have the opposites here? I don't, but you can see when I put ink on one side, it's going to put the ink on the part that pushes the paper down. On the other side, it's going to put ink on the paper that pushes up. I know that doesn't make sense at all. Once you play with it, you'll get it. Um, I ink both sides. That way I have a choice. Which one do I like? So you'll see that when, to, when our hearts come out. I think maybe it'll make more sense then. Um, but the really cool thing is that you take this die and you set it in here and then you run it through and not only does it ink and emboss your hearts, but it cuts them all out in one swoop, which is really cool. All right, so your brayer, I wanna point this out too, has these little things that poke out on this side and that's to set your brayer down. It keeps the brayer off the surface of your desk. See, you set it down like that. So it, if it has ink on it, it's not gonna get ink on your surface. Um, so when you ink it, you wanna turn it that way so that those are poking up. So poking down to set down on your desk, poking up when you ink. All right, well, let's get to it. Enough talking. I've got pecan pie. And when you ink your brayer, you want to move it around, okay? Don't just burr, 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 like that. It's got to be moving all around and rolling it different ways. That's going to get ink, you know, spread out all across your brayer. All right, now I'm just going to carefully brayer across my images, okay? Get some more ink on here. And add some more. Now, hopefully you can kind of see how the images are opposite. Over here, it's putting ink on the part that has the dots, but over here, it's putting ink mostly on the little leaves part and only on the raised dots. So it's gonna give you two different looks. So I like to just, you know, be really generous with my ink. If you find you're having trouble getting enough ink on your folder, Make sure that your ink pad is juicy. You might need to get your ink refill and add some ink to your folder. Okay, let me set that down. I mean ink to your ink pad with your reinker. You, you guys know what I meant, right? <laughs> Take your reinker and add ink to your ink pad if you're having trouble. All right, so I'm gonna set that down. I've got a six by six piece of pecan pie cardstock that I'm going to set right there and then I'm going to carefully close it. All right, now I'm going to bring my cut and emboss machine over and you want to get rid of all the plates except for the base, which is number one, and you're going to need number four. All right, so set it down. You know, I've done it both ways with the die on the bottom and the die on the top and I don't really see a difference. I prefer to keep that die on the bottom. That way it doesn't slip out. Um, but I, I don't think it's a problem either way. All right, it's a tight fit. I will tell you, you may think, oh, this isn't right, but it is, I promise. All right, let's see how they came out. All right, so you can see there, it's 
cut them all out. I also want to point out the negative space here is really cute as well. See the little hearts? And then on that side, it's colored in the hearts. Very cute. Okay, so now let's take a look. Let's look at the opposite sides. So that one put ink down in the design, and this one inked around the design. Does that make sense? All right, and then here's that, that one with a leaf. Like that, that's what it looks like. And then that one, and like that. So like this one, it didn't ink very well. So I kind of like that there's nine. That's why I used a whole six by six sheet of paper so that I can choose from the very best ones. All right, now how do you clean this? I just take it to the sink and rinse it. Same with my brayer, and then I dry it off. Um, if you have a chamois, you could do that too, but I think it will be a little bit messier because you'll get it on your hands probably. So just take it to your sink, rinse it, dry it, and it'll be just fine. I'm gonna set it over here, out of the way. All right, so now let's put our card together. I have cut out a gold foil um, contour scallop. This is the largest one in the contour scallop dies. And I've cut a piece of basic black that we're gonna put here. This is our little box of chocolates. Okay, and then I'm gonna get dimensionals. And I'm just gonna start adding my dimensionals. And I'm gonna just kind of set them at first. I'm not gonna really push them in because I wanna make sure, oh, I kinda of like that side. I'm gonna, I wanna make sure to get them straight. I will have to move them around, I'm sure. All right, let's see, I think I will use the debossed side. All right, so let's see, we'll move that one over just a bit. Maybe that one a little bit more. You just have to play with it until they look straight enough for you. I am not a perfectionist, so, you know, I just kind of put them there. If, if you wanna make sure they're exactly straight, use your grid paper or your um, oh, a ruler, or if you have, let's see, I'm trying to think of what I'm doing, or if you have your um, glass mat, that has grid lines on it as well. All right, so I'm just gonna attach these here. Let's see, so, so I'm trying to make them different. You know, I don't want them all to be exactly the same, so I'm kind of mixing up the order. Um, let's do this one right here. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Let me pick it up and look at it, make sure. Yeah, okay, so now you've got these three that are left, and we could put them on the inside. All right, let's stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna stamp it in Versamark on a basic black. Uh, this is from the, con nope, from the, I'm drawing a blank, Stylish Shape dies. I've rubbed it with my embossing buddy to get any of the static cling off the static on there that might be keeping the little powder uh, from clinging in places we don't want it. To my Valentine, you won't see it because the ink is clear, but once we add on, our gold, let me get my reverse tweezers. This, the reverse tweezers and the embossing buddy are from the embossing additions kit. Comes with a tray and a little brush. It's really good. All right, let's see. I think we look pretty good. Let's bring the heat tool. It'll take us just about 10 or 15 seconds. We need more dimensionals. Put these right here. And we'll put this right over the middle, like that. All right, a real red card base. And you guys know me, I'm gonna add more dimensionals. Layers and layers of dimensionals, of course. All right, 
There we go. I've got a little thing here I need to get out. There we go. All right, now for the inside. I've got a piece of basic white. I'm gonna show you what I did um, on my sample, and I didn't love it, so I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I stamped that heart in real red and then put the I adore you, but I don't think the I adore you fits very well. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp that, and then I'm gonna take one of our hearts and put it right there. Oh yeah, that's much cuter. Carry over that design. Okay, like that. And there you go. Pretty easy Valentine card. Um, you know, if you aren't gonna give this to a Valentine, change, change the wording. It could be anything you want, but a fun little fake box of chocolates for Valentine's Day. All right, you guys, I've got a free PDF over on my blog with measurements and supplies. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back over there. Check it out. There's two other projects as well. Have fun stamping. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.